Hey guys, welcome back. Um, you might notice I've got my glasses on, which means inbox review. So, I did promise you um inbox review of the Tupolev down here. This is the ICM Spanish Civil War kit. Uh, now, this would basically be the same as any other Tupolev kits you will get because it's the same moldings, the same thing, just different decals basically in the kit. So, um, I'm going to give you an honest review about this. Uh, I've had a, I have to admit, I've had a look at it already, so sorry to disappoint you guys who are sitting straight out of the box. I've opened it. I've touched nothing, just only one part that fell off, which was in here. So let's change the camera position and we'll begin the uh, inbox review. I definitely need to work on my lines and my speech first before starting. Anyway, let's go on with it. So here we are. Here we have the box of it. Um, it's a bit of thin, fairly thin box with um, nice box art on it, doesn't say it was painted by unfortunately but still very nice so I got a good price about £14 and the kit number is 72161 and of course it's 172 seconds so that means it's going to be tiny I was shocked at it so that's that, get around the other side get around there back around there and back here is where you can see other kits like the um, the Focke Iron Decker, the Polycarp of I-15, Heiko 51, uh, TU-2, TU-2S and uh, MiG-29 Falcon. Turn this back round for you. Uh, look in another way. Open the box and we're automatically greeted by a nice sturdy box. Some instructions and loads and loads of plastic parts. Let's get them out of the way first and this is very nice, it's a nice sturdy box. That's just a little piece of that's it playing around there. Alright let's start with I'm gonna start with the instruction now first guys, see what we've got. So it automatically gives you a bit of history down here um the actual um, quantities of the aircraft, let's say, the speed, knots, and everything else like that, and we're automatically given our call out, or call outs, and it also the ones marked in red are the ones that we're not going to use on this kit, specifically because like for this kit on other kits it will be different, but this is for this kit. So let's have a look. So open the first page and we're automatically blown away by the detail on this. Um, it starts off with the fuselage halves, um, which are the bomb racks and part, a bit of radio down here. And quite importantly, some part of the, the pilot's um, seat and instrument panel, which gets attached to here. here. Uh, you've got wheel wells and go in place, no, that's, that's the wheel wells, these are wheel wells as well and then that's it also closed in. Now here you have three sets of arms, you've got maximum, medium, small. For this kit we're going to do the small one, so because it was Spatch Civil War. Uh, going on down here we've got the forward um, bomb aimer place here and just behind the um, panel lead we've got some more cockpits here with the push pedals and the steering column yeah you know what I mean now back here we move on to a complete different section which is the tail part uh, the first part consists of a rear gunner going in so um, oh I haven't seen that before oh Jesus <laughs> I wouldn't see that's how much I would know, know about it so st again start for the rear position put the lights in and the tail plane so it goes in last or wherever. Moving on, this very quickly builds together. Put, got the engines together. Down here, you get two of them, put them together. And then we put everything together along here. This is the main part where everything get falls together with the, the bomb aimer's nose and the fuselage shafts. And then followed by the wings, engine, elevators, exhaust, and propeller. 
next one. They got decals out, just moving them out of the way for you. Final part of the installation is the bomb aimers nose, gunners, well, guns, bomb aimers guns, um, speedos, uh, speedo meters, sorry, canopies, rear gunners, uh, uh, pitot tube, and very finally down here you've got the the bomb racks, uh, the undercarriage systems going in, and then you're done. Now for markings we have um, three Republican and one Condor Legion which was used after the uh, the war. Fortunately they're not in colour so that's a really um, bad thing because so it's a pretty old kit so I can't couldn't find where it was made. But anyway I'm just going to the first one here. This is the first option. I think I might go for this one as it's really nice. Um, it's uh, two below. Grupo 12, smashed the Republican Air Force 937, so doesn't know whereabouts it was based, but I can tell you which group it was in, which 12 group. And it has a nice desert camouflage, number 5, and very interesting down here, um, like in bow and arrow insignia. Next page, we've got same another smashed Re Republican Air Force one, but it has a different camouflage pattern with... Um, Full camo on, uh, not not the desert tops you see, but it's like the the grey and not not grey, sand, brown and green you've got here. This one has a different um, canopy at the back. It does mention here, sorry, does mention here you can have different canopies for different ones you want. So this one doesn't have a full canopy, which I didn't really like. So this option is going to be on me. Anyway, it's very Soviet Air Force. Um, it doesn't say which group it is in, but note the way it was based, which was Baradras, I think, 1938. So it's a year later than the next one. Next one is the Condor Legion, which was used in 1940 after the, after the Civil War as a trainer. Uh, so you got the National Condor insignias on. Uh, this one, however, does not have any guns on because it was probably a trainer. So that's that one. And the last version we have here, we only have one thing here, which is uh, number one. So it's basically the same as someone, just a different group. It's Group 042, special number 1937. Down here, you've got your colour reference charts and just a bit of information, contact the centre. Right, and what's the phone down here? That's really it for the instructions them aside. Now the decals to me do look very nice but it's, it is glossy so that's one good thing. Um, I don't know if you can see see that in the lights at all. Like, you can see it's glossy, shiny, whatever. But anyway, I, saw, I, I can tell it's nice and shiny. Uh, well, might have troubles with putting them down though because you can see where the carrier films around it so they're not the, not the best, but they'll do. Oh, some different sheets there. Right, plastic plastic time. Now here's a clear clear section. Uh, so there, let's let's move you down a bit closer. Move you down a bit closer there, so you can see it's very actually very very clear plastic. Um, might need a bit of a polish up in some areas, but you can see the definite the lines definitely showing through there. So that's that. Back in the box that goes. Now next, plastic parts are. Um, I'm going to show the wings here. Now the wings are very very nice. Has a nice touch. There's a lot of detail in there. I think you can just make it out. It's focused. You can see all the detail on that plastic. But however, this plastic is a bit um, old. So this is the first time that I'd have to give a model kit a wash because and some of the parts which I'll show you in a bit are a bit um, oily. So you have the so you have the main top, the upper and lower wings, and the elevators are just in one shape. Like that, yeah, they all need a good wash. 
what else we got next. This is the part I was telling you about which needed the wash down here. Uh, let me try and find it. This part, just just here on this tail, this tail piece here, it's got a bit of flash on, which we just do a touch up, but it does have a bit of um, oily substance on it. So also here as well. I don't know where you can make it out. Anyway, but on here you got the main instrument panels, the bar main side parts and seats. Also wheel wells, bar mains. So yeah, it's pretty nice kit down here. Next we've got the fuse oh dear. The fuselage shelves here. Um both again brilliantly detailed with the moulding and uh has a nice touch, gives a nice touch and all a nice detail and rivet rims and panel lines and stuff like that. So that will look nice on the dark wash, which I like very best. Uh, what next? Um, we've got here the two engine halves they come in both sets like this and they're nicely detailed. Again, they need a wash in these parts. Both got a bit of oil on and um, yeah, but either way, they're nicely detailed. Yep, and it does give you option for the three blade propeller, the two blade propeller. But yeah, again, the thing I've just noticed is that these parts are got flash on. Again, not a biggie, but it's flash. No one likes. No modelists like flash. And also, another thing is that it can just bend easy. Look at that. Oh well. That out of the way. Last but not least, final part, which is your your ornament. Now this part is just a mass of plastic here. You've got your your bomb it, your bombs course. You've got your spars, elevators, landing gear, um, machine gunners, bits of radio compartment, and bit of um, aircraft cockpit detail in there. Uh, it does need a touch up, got a few sink marks in there and some, oh, what can you call it? Oh, injection parts in there. These parts you don't use, I think these are skis, which looks really awesome. So that's for for a winter one later on some time. That's, that's it guys, that's all it is. So it's just one mass of plastic in one little bag. I'm not going to put it back in because I'm out of time. And it's just in there. So apart from this, I'm going to give it about um, about six, seven out of ten for this kit because yes, it is small. One, it does have a bit of oily substance on the plastic, which is no big. You just wash it off. But it does have. Um, oh, let's zoom out. Oh, wrong way. Two seconds. That's better. So. Apart from those things, it has detail, it's got nice rivet lines, it's nice plastic. So even though for an old kit, ICM still produce very nice kits. Uh, what can I say from all that? Um, I'll be with you in another video, guys. Uh, thank you very much for an inbox review, and I'll speak to you again shortly. Happy modelling and bye for now.